So to my mind, there's three key strategies that could be implemented to increase the anabolic potential of a given plant-based protein source. Um, the first and perhaps most simple is to increase the um, recommended dose of that protein source to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis. So we know at the moment that in a 80 to 85 kilogram young male, resistance trained young male, that around 20 grams, 20 to 25 grams of protein is sufficient to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis. But that information is based on animal-based dose response studies. So in whey or in egg protein, at least in young adults, we don't know anything in terms of the dose response relationship in plant-based proteins. But what we do know is that around three grams of leucine is probably the ideal amount of leucine to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And as a result, based on the amino acid profile of plant-based protein sources, we can at least provide a theoretical idea of how much protein is needed and for each given plant-based protein source. And typically that will be around 30 up to 50 grams for say a potato protein which is very low in leucine. Um, the second strategy to increase the anabolic potential of a plant-based protein source is to fortify the plant-based protein with additional leucine. Um, so studies have shown, at least in rat studies, um, have shown that if you add leucine to say a wheat protein to equalize the amount of leucine compared to a whey protein source, you actually get a similar response of muscle protein synthesis by equalizing the amount of leucine. Um, that study was in rats, so it does need to be followed up in a human study, but nevertheless, it's um, promising information. Um, and then the third study, or sorry, the third strategy would be to blend proteins, different proteins. And this has received a lot of attention. So the idea that blending either complementary plant-based protein sources, so um, for example, um, maize with lentil, so maize is deficient in lysine, but lentils deficient in methionine, but not lysine. So that would be a complementary um, kind of plant-based protein meal, I suppose. Um, and then the other idea is to blend an animal-based protein source, such as casein and whey, with a plant-based protein source. Um, and there, ha there have been a few studies that have compared a protein blend with the gold standard whey. Um, and have actually shown a similar response of muscle protein synthesis between the blend and the whey condition. Um, but unfortunately, those studies are very much, there's still 75% of the composition of the blend is made of dairy. So the next steps need to be looking to see whether a protein blend consisting of perhaps 50% of plant-based protein source or even 75% with, with whey is gonna help and result in a similar response of muscle protein synthesis compared to a, a whey protein gold standard. So three strategies um, that are in place to try and increase the anabolic potential of plant-based proteins and obviously have clear implications for vegetarian strength-based athletes.